Hey guys, we are looking at some absolute value inequalities and these ones are kind of special, okay? Because we've got some negatives, okay? So when you have absolute value inequalities, there's four types of answers you might get. You can get an and inequality, an or inequality, all real numbers or no solution, okay? The all real numbers and no solution have to deal with when you have a negative here, okay? So obviously I'm gonna show you one of each, you're welcome, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this guy first. So when my absolute value bars are alone, I always wanna get them alone before I try and solve these. Once they're alone, if this number over here is negative, I automatically know my answer is either going to be all real numbers or no solutions. So how do we know which one it is? Well, honestly, there's probably a rhyme or something out there that somebody made up that's cool to help you know why, but I, or which one it is, but I like to just think about it kind of logically, what I know. So if I have absolute value, right? The answer to absolute value is always positive, right? So if this ends up, if I plug in 103, right? And I get 103 minus three gives me 100. The absolute value of 100 is 100. 100 is greater than or equal to negative eight. Perfect. That's true, right? What if I plug in a negative number? What if I plug in like negative 70? Well, negative 70 minus three would give me negative 73, the absolute value of negative 73 would be a positive 73, right? And that would be greater than or equal to negative eight. Is there any number you can think of that I would plug in and it would not be greater than negative eight? I'll give you a second. No, there's not, okay? <laughs> there's no number I could plug into this that would make this not true because this is always gonna be positive and a positive is always gonna be greater than a negative, right? So the answer to this is all real numbers, okay? Or you can write it as an R with two lines, that means all real numbers, okay? What about this guy, okay? You're like, wait, he's not negative, right? But I want my absolute value bars alone before I try to solve this. Okay, so maybe I'm just trying to solve this. I'm like, oh, I need to get rid of that negative. So to get rid of that, I can multiply both sides by a negative one, right? So I'm gonna get a different color. Da, da, da. Okay, so I can multiply both sides by a negative one, right? That will get rid of that negative over there. Also, alarm should be going off in your head because what do we do with inequalities whenever we multiply or divide by a negative? we flip this sign, right? So I always like to circle it to remind myself that I'm going to be flipping that sign, okay? Now, when I multiply by that negative one, the negatives cancel, so I'm just left with x minus five over here, okay? I flip that sign, so it's going to be less than 15 times a negative one is a negative 15, okay? So if I was doing this on my homework or something, this problem at first might not have given me like negative vibes, right? Like no solution or all real number vibes. But once I did that, I'm like, oh, I've got a negative over here, which means the answer to this is either going to be all real numbers or no solutions, right? Well, let's look at this. Remember, the answer to an absolute value is always gonna be positive, right? So whatever I plug in, this is gonna be positive. Well, is a positive number ever going to be less than a negative number? No, it's not, right? There's no number I could plug in here that would give me the absolute value that will be less than negative 15, okay? So on this one, there is no solution, okay? All right, hopefully that made sense. If you need some more examples, I will link a whole playlist for you. Thanks.